Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you've been enjoying some of the new content recently, but it's good to be back in my home base kitchen to share with you a beautiful butternut squash gratin recipe that's topped with a crunchy, buttery, hazelnut sage topping that just sets this thing off right. All right, let me stop talking and start up the recipe. First things first, you want to prepare the butternut squash. Um, basically, you want to peel the outermost layer with a simple potato peeler. Then you are going to slice it in half lengthwise very carefully. Um, it can be a little tricky, especially if you have a dull knife, so keep that in mind. Um, then you're going to scoop out the pulp and the seeds, and then you're going to slice the squash fairly thin all the way across. Once all the squash is sliced up, you're gonna add a splash of cream and milk to your baking container. Sprinkle in a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper and nutmeg uh, to it as well. Then you're gonna begin to layer the squash basically however you'd like, just make sure to add another layer of cream, milk, and seasoning um, every layer you put down. When the butternut squash gratin is almost assembled and the final layer of cream milk and seasoning uh, goes down, you're going to top it with a generous helping of Grana Padano cheese and bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes on the top rack. Uh, just look for the golden brown bubbly action before you pull it out. While that's baking away in the oven, I'm going to make a crispy topping, of course, uh, to finish the gratin by roughly dicing up some toasted bread, then doing the same with a handful of roasted hazelnuts. Uh, then I'm gonna add a few spoons of butter to a hot pan and basically just toast them together for a few minutes just so they get all nice and crispy and crunchy. Uh, then I'm gonna add a few pieces of torn sage in at the end and this will be ready to top the gratin as soon as it comes out of the oven. All right, so once the gratin is golden brown, bubbling, and uber tender, you're gonna pull it out of the oven and of course top it with the crispy hazelnut topping. And this butternut squash gratin is ready to be devoured. All right, what's up guys? Okay, so the butternut squash gratin um, looks Beautiful, it's finished, and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Uh, I love the, the crispy texture on the top with the breadcrumbs and the toasted hazelnuts. The fresh sage is a nice little touch as well and adds kind of just, just enough green to kind of you know chop up the 
overly brownness of this dish. So anyways, I'm gonna dive into this and let you guys know how I did. It's probably lava hot. The first thing you get is like that toasted cheese flavor. And then after that, it's like sage, a little bit of nutmeg, and that sweet butternut squash, like super tender. Mm. Super crispy breadcrumbs, obviously. Really what's kind of pronounced as well is the black pepper, especially if you do big, large, cracked chunks. Mm. You almost could do like a savory bread pudding in reverse with this if you did larger chunks of bread and maybe put a little bit of honey in there. Like it'd still be savory, but maybe like an addition of some caramelized onions, some other flavors could be really good, but such a cool dish. I love um, kind of playing with the idea of a gratin. Definitely like playing with butternut squash uh, during this time of year. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below for future uh, video requests, things you want to see on my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I'm doing here. Check out the description box for equipment lists, ingredient lists, and um, lots of other info uh, regarding my channel. And my other social platforms are all down there too, so check that out as well. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Later, guys. Thank you.